It's time to talk sports medicine. So we are here with the amazing Matt from Spectrum House Sports Medicine. We're here at Sparta High School where you spend a lot of time with student athletes, don't you? Oh yeah, every day, all summer, all school year. We spend every day with them. Well, we let's to talk about what we need to do to transition our young athletes from fall sports to winter sports. Um, fall sports, there's a lot of wide open playing fields. There's a lot of long distance running, a lot of high collision, high impact forces that happen. When we move it inside, what happens? A lot more uh, smaller field, like smaller playing surfaces, um, basketball court, uh, wrestling mats, all a lot more of a confined area. So these athletes need to prepare for a lot more explosiveness, a lot more agility, acceleration, um, cutting, jumping, a lot different. You know, they can be in shape in their fall sports and then be totally unprepared for their winter sports. Well, let's talk totally about some of the key things we can do to keep our kids in the game. Um, how can we transition them? What are some of those stretches and things they should be doing? Uh, one of the biggest things that we actually have in place here at Sparta High School is a warm-up program with our winter athletes. Right now, all three levels of girls and boys basketball are doing this warm-up program, and it's to help transition all these athletes who either were fall athletes or were not fall athletes into their winter sports. And it includes a lot of plyometric training, which is jump training, for speed, explosiveness, quickness, acceleration, agility, everything. And it's preparing them for the different movements and different kind of physical activity that they'll be doing in the winter sports. What are some of the other things that are involved with that? So we've got the, the stretching and the jumping. Are you doing jump roping and that kind of thing as well? Yeah, we start off with a bit of dynamic stretching. I don't like static stretching, which is just reach and touch your toes, pull your heel up to your butt and stretch your quads. Um, I don't like that on cold muscles, so we do dynamic stretching where they will kind of move while stretching out certain body parts, and then they transition into a jump rope portion, they transition into a jump program portion, then they get a little bit of core work and a little bit of footwork. So they get a big mix of everything that they're going to need in their winter sports all in one warm-up that is not only used for injury prevention, but it's also used for performance enhancement. helps me be more confident, more, I guess, willing to work, go harder every game, every practice to get better. It's kind of a bittersweet relationship because it's a lot of early mornings and working really hard, but in the end, it's a big payoff when, it, when you get in season with your sports. You can definitely see the difference. And, you know, if we can get, you know, these kids through four years of high school sports injury-free, nothing can totally 100% prevent knee injuries or any injuries, but we can greatly reduce the risk while also making them better athletes awesome. just from a warm-up program. Thank you for all you're doing to keep our kids in the game with Spectrum Health Sports Medicine. We appreciate it.